The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I was reading an absolutely fantastic story from the Zed Shimshon Art Scroll book from Reb Nachman Seltzer. He brought this story from Reb Gabi Holtzberg, uh, Hashem Yinkom Damam, him and his wife, and all the Kedoshim that were killed in Mumbai. He himself said this story that he, he did. He was coming closer to Pesach Seder, and uh, like a good Lubavitcher Chassid, he decided he was going to go out and hit the streets and invite as many people as possible to come to his Le Seder. Okay, so naturally you can imagine, Mumbai is a city teeming with people. Any people that he meet that it looked like the, the prototype to be a backpack typer, you know, that, that type of person that he can ask, hey, you want to come to the Seder? Some people, yes, some people, no. Okay, fine. Finally, he decided, you know, he has a few more minutes left. He was a little tired. He's like, you know what, I'll go back home. He's like, you know what, I'm on the street anyways. Maybe there's some Jews in the hotels. So he went into the hotel lobby. Now, you have to be a Lubavitcher to do this, because most people wouldn't do that. He goes, he goes up to the clerk at the desk. He goes, excuse me, do you have any Jewish or Israeli backpackers here? Now, if you go to do that in most American hotels, they would completely ignore you and say, get out of here, trespassing, right? But <laughs> the person went with the confidence and he said, do you have? they said, well, I don't know, sir. Let me give you the guest list. Can you imagine that? Here's the guest list. Totally violation of all privacy laws. But it's India, right? And it's all about Jehoshaphat. So he gives him the, the list, and he looks at it, and he sees all these random names, completely not Jewish, and one name jumps out at him. The last name is Doror. D-R-O-R. Doror. Obviously, that's an Israeli name. Freedom. So he sees, he sees what, what, uh, what room number it is. He goes up to the floor, knocks on the door. Then a little voice inside him goes, Gavi, come on, this is really crazy. Who says that he really... Maybe it's a wife of the guy. You didn't even look if it was a man or a woman. Maybe it was the wife of the guy. And maybe it was an intermarried couple and she happens to have the name of him. You don't know. He says, you know what, I'll, I'll knock again. Knocks a second time. He's like, come on, look, uh, Gavi, you got to go. It's right before Pesach. You got to get ready. Do Achanot. What are you doing? He's like, you know what, third time. Okay, knocks a third time. And he's like, okay, forget it. Obviously, the person's not coming to the door. He walks down the door. He's pressing the door to the elevator to go down. Suddenly, right when the elevator goes ding, ready to go down, suddenly a door opens up down the hallway, and he sees what looks like to be an Israeli young man. He goes up to him, he says, hello, hello, mize. He goes, oh, he walks over to the guy, he goes, he says, Doror, no, that's the name of my family. He says, oh, what's your name? He says, my name is Yaniv. He says, Yaniv, oh, good, I just wanted to tell you, we're having a Pesach Seder, I would love for you to come. Yaniv looks at him and goes, who said to you? So, he says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent me to, for you to come for the little Seder. Are you coming? And the guy suddenly, he looked like a ghost hit him when he said those words. He says, I have to tell you something. And he says the following. Now Gabi's like wondering, oh my gosh, I have like literally a few minutes left till Pesach Seder. Like what's going to be? What, what's he going to do? What's he telling me? He says, you know what? I'll listen to his story. What's the story? He says the story is like this. He says, I got off from a flight from Israel to Mumbai. And I come here and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to go backpacking, go all around. I've never been here before. And I come to the train station, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'll go somewhere, I don't know where I'm going to go. I come to the train station, after I got off the airport, I come to the train station, and uh, they tell me how much it costs. So I tell them, I don't have any uh, rupee, I don't have the currency there, but I have like a few uh, euro or uh, dollars, I don't know, whatever, some type of currency is accepted. And he says, okay, I, I can change, exchange that for you. How much do you have? He says, I put my hand to my wallet, and it's gone. Somebody pickpocketed me. Not only did he pickpocket me from my wallet, I also have no passport. Zero. Klum. I had nothing. I got completely down. I go, oh my gosh, what's going to be? What's going to be? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's walking up and down. Oh, yeah. Now, in India, people literally die on the streets like dogs. I mean, it's, it's an unfortunate situation. Saying to himself, oh my gosh, I could die here. Like, I don't know what to do. I, I was a young boy. I, didn't, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And suddenly I get a tap on my shoulder and I see in a French accent... A Israeli speaks to me, who's clearly a Tzorfati, then you're Israeli, whatever. He says to me, Yesh uh, Bayan, like, what's the problem? He tells him, I got pickpocketed, or whatever. He says, here, here's some money, don't worry about it. Yeah, what's your name? Don't worry about it. We look out for one another. Arevut, we look out for one another. Like in this week's parashah. We look out for each other. He says, okay, so what do you want me to do? He says, so I look at, uh, he says, just find a hotel anywhere. You can find a hotel literally down the block. So I'm looking around that, and I see, you know what? Down the street there's a hotel, I'll stop here. So I'm thinking as I get into the hotel, I check in. And, and as I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this part. As I'm leaving, the French, he tells me, he says, by the way, tonight, Lel Seder, Pesach, you know, Lel Shimurim, we all get together. You should uh, make sure to be together with a bunch of Jews. That was it. Anyways, I'm going to my hotel room. I'm thinking what he's telling me. A stranger I never met before, he literally is giving me money for free. And he's telling me about Lel Seder. 
I'm thinking to myself, what's going to be? I say, you know what, Hashem? If you really love me, show me a sign that I should come to Leil Seder. And I fell asleep, and the next thing I know, I hear a knock on my door. And then I'm wondering, what in the world's going on? And then suddenly, I hear again, a knock on my door. I'm not dreaming. Then a third time, I knock on my door. Then I opened up, and you came. So God be called, looks at me and goes, so that's a yes then, you're coming to Leil Seder? <laughs> and he said yes. And then Baruch Hashem, the person of Hosea Arevud, Hashem looks for us. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.